Hello everyone! With iPhone 15 Pro Max being able to run AAA games, I believe that this is a trend that most companies will follow in the next years. And if that really happens, cooling your smartphones will be something really necessary. And today we're gonna test this cooler from Black Shark. It uses a Peltier tablet to cool your phone with much more efficiency than any other fan-based cooler out there. In the box everything is in Chinese, but you can scan the QR codes if you're curious. They're probably for the online manual and the Black Shark app. And the cooler is pretty straightforward. You have a USB Type-C port for connecting power, and there's an on-off switch on the other side. And you also get a USB Type-C cable in the box. When you turn the cooler on, it cools down really, really fast. Let's perform a quick test with the thermometer. Just look how fast it cools down. The other side is still hot, but the side that is in contact with your phone is really cold. I let it sit for a while and it's already condensing the moisture in the air, like a cold can of soda. The RGB lights are also pretty cool. After letting it sit for a while, the lowest temperature that I got was around 7 degrees Celsius. Let's check the smartphone app now. The app has two settings, manual and smart. In the manual setting, it will be at maximum fan speed, reaching the lowest temperature as fast as it can. In the smart setting, it will detect the phone temperature and increase the fan speed the hotter it gets. Let's take a quick look at the RGB settings.
and here is a timer function to turn off the fan automatically. One thing that concerns me is that on my smartphone, the CPU is on the top side of the phone. And you cannot install this fan on the top side because of the camera bump. So I wonder how well it will cool down my phone installed in the middle. With a few minutes of Honkai Impact Star Rail, my phone is already reaching 39 degrees. But it can get harder than that, so let's bump up the settings to the max. And now we're reaching 40 degrees. To my surprise, it wasn't making much of a difference. And there's many reasons for that. Not also the CPU is located on the top, but the back panel of my phone is made of plastic and not glass. So it may not be conducting heat properly to the top side of the phone. But the middle of the phone did seem to be cooler than the rest. So I decided to rerun the test. I removed the cooler and let my phone heat up again. Now in the middle of my phone we are reaching around 37 degrees, while on the top we have the usual 40 degrees. Turning on the fan didn't give me immediate results, but after some time it did lower the temperature to 34-33 degrees. <sighs> Meanwhile the CPU side was reaching 41 degrees, so depending on your smartphone this cooler may not be so useful. At least if you're planning to use the cooler to get more performance on your games. But even though it doesn't help performance wise, having a cooler installed while you're playing a game will help your phone last longer. Because it actually protects the battery side, and we all know that heat will damage your battery in the long term. Another useful solution is to install the cooler on the front of your phone. While this won't work at all for handheld gaming, it will help a lot stabilizing the temperatures in the dock mode. 
And that's it for this review. If you plan to get a cooler for yourself, I'll be leaving all the links in the description of this video. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.